I'm James Spann. This is the afternoon edition of the Weather Extreme video. This is for Tuesday, the 21st of January. As promised, we are going back in the deep freeze. Yeah, you feel it, that uh, biting north wind today. Let's go to some of the Skycam shots. We'll look out the window. That's the view coming from Birmingham. Yeah, I had a few snow flurries over uh, parts of north and northeast Alabama, but uh, no big deal. The cold is the big deal. That's the Hamilton Skycam up at uh, Marion County. Hamilton High School and from Jasper. Partly sunny, windy, cold midwinter day. And goodness, you know, uh, when we spoke this morning at about 5.30, we had uh, mostly 40s on the board. Uh, now we've got some folks down in the 20s, and this is at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. And you factor in the wind, and it feels a lot colder than that. Uh, 28 for Haleyville, 29 for Coleman. Wow. Uh, Birmingham at 37. Uh, north winds at 15 to 30. Wind chill indices are very low. And around the nation, the floodgates are open to the Yukon. Again, for the eastern U.S., you can see that cold air just spilling south. The old barbed wire fence will not hold it back. And keep in mind, you know, we've got two phases of this. This is phase one. The second phase arrives Thursday, day after tomorrow, and that's going to be even colder. Big story nationally, winter storm warnings, snow for West Virginia, Virginia, Maryland, Delaware, Parts of Pennsylvania, New Jersey, New York City, up to Boston. Uh, got a blizzard warning in effect for Cape Cod and Plymouth, Massachusetts. As the the, up, the uh, low will be deepening. And, of course, that's where the snow is going to be. This is the chance of accumulating snow greater than one inch over the next 24 hours through uh, 6 o'clock local time tomorrow evening. You can see the big snows on the upper Atlantic coast tonight. And the clipper coming in, that'll be that second cold snap or cold phase we see on Thursday with some snow for the Great Lakes. <laughs> but again, nothing especially heavy up there. And this is interesting now. This is the chance of accumulating snow uh, between 6 o'clock Thursday evening and 6 o'clock Friday evening. And we're watching what you see there over much of Texas. And those are low probabilities, although uh, down toward the Texas Hill Country, numbers are coming up toward 30, 40 percent. That's the chance of greater than one inch of snow. We think that feature will dampen out and pass south of here, not affecting us over the weekend. In fact, uh, this is the QPF chart through the weekend, through Sunday evening, not a flake, not a drop. And there might be a few snow flurries, I guess, uh, Thursday with the next push of cold air. But uh, for now, we don't expect anything significant. This is the GFS, the Global Forecast System, valid at 12 noon tomorrow. This is at 500 millibars. You can see this initial wave is off the coast, the second one coming down through the Great Lakes. And down below that, it's going to be a cold day, a sunny day, and not as windy as today. That's the good news. Uh, both the uh, NAM and the GFS are printing a high of 38. This is Thursday. Now, Thursday morning will be cold but uh, not as cold as some of the mornings later in the week. We'll expect to load down in the lower 20s. And uh, Thursday, that's a 1048 millibar high over uh, Omaha, Nebraska. The winds pick up, and the, the NAM is printing a high of only 32 on Thursday. Uh, many places stay below freezing all day. Areas north of Birmingham stay in the 20s all day. You factor in those strong north winds. The wind chill index will be down in the single digits much of the day. It's going to be a very raw, cold day on Thursday. This is Friday. The surface high getting closer to us. Friday morning should be our coldest morning. We'll say lows between 10 and 15. And uh, same thing on Friday. I don't know if we rise above freezing. That's a very cold air mass in here. Uh, I would say the high will be in the low 30s. So there's a chance we could stay below freezing all day Thursday and all day Friday. This is Saturday. Now, we start to warm up. Uh, Saturday morning, I'd say the low will be close to 20. The, the guidance trending a little warmer as the cold air begins to lift out. The high Saturday should be in the upper 40s. And this is Sunday, a chance we see uh, low to mid-50s in here. So that'll feel like a heat wave. Uh, in the weekend dry, we'll expect uh, sunshine and full supply both days. Uh, this is Monday. Uh-oh, cold air begins to make a return to the Tennessee Valley. And here's a week from today. Guess what? The trough reestablishes itself. And guess what? Another shot of very cold air. Highs go back in the 30s on Tuesday of next week as we are just locked in this cold pattern. Uh, here's a look at the plot of the temperatures for the next uh, uh, seven days. And again, you can see we should stay below 40 uh, all the way through Saturday afternoon. Uh, the coldest morning, Friday morning, lows there between 10 and 15. 
And uh, next week, you can start to see the numbers coming down on Tuesday, and that's probably too warm. I think it's going to be colder than that based on that latest run we have seen. So temperatures way below average for a while. Go out there a little later. This is the 30th of January. That's a snow event there for northern Tennessee and Kentucky, if this is right. That would be rain for us. Look at that. More cold air coming down the pike the next day. This is the 1st of February. 1044 high over the Dakotas. Windy, cold. And the end of the forecast, the 6th of February. Troughing to the west. That would be uh, showery and maybe some thunder if this is right. Uh, No snow, no ice. But look at the high back over the uh, Dakotas. Again, that is a 1,050 millibar high. So, you know, we get these little warm-ups, and then we just go right back in the deep freeze. That seems to be the trend for the foreseeable future. That's it for the Weather Extreme video today. We'll have notes in the blog. Next video here by 7 o'clock tomorrow morning. If you can, catch us on ABC 3340 News this evening on the live stream or the television side at 4, 5, 6, and 10. Thanks for watching. Have a wonderful evening, and God bless.